everybody, I'm Captain Zeus, and welcome back to BP Fun. Today's video is going to be a little bit late since the news dropped, but if you haven't heard, Funimation was bought by Sony not too long ago, and they are merging with Crunchyroll. The Funimation site and app is shutting down, and it is not a good thing. Not only is this leaving a void, if you will, for actual competition, because monopolies are a terrible thing in no matter what industry it is. But the consequences of said merger is very dire. I'm gonna read you what what the official announcement says from Crunchyroll. So it says, you know, obviously they're thanking everyone for being a Funimation customer. The service is ending April 2nd, 2024. And it's supposedly your Funimation watch history and queue will migrate over to Crunchyroll. Now, one of the big things here is that with this transition, the price of your new Crunchyroll plan will increase from 54, almost $55 a year USD to $100 a year USD starting in 2025, January 22nd to be specific. The prices are double. So no matter what plan you have, that price is doubling for this next coming year, which is terrible. Now, if you want to know what's happening to all your digital copies that you have purchased with Funimation, well, I have some great news for you. You're, you're going to lose it all. You're losing all of it. So even if you look at one of their FAQs, it says that Crunchyroll does not support the Funimation digital copies, which means that access to previously available digital copies will not be supported. However, they're supposedly working to continue to enhance their content offerings and provide you with an exceptional anime experience. That's that's just terrible. That means throughout the vast amount of years, 10 plus, 20 plus, that people have owned digital copies of anime, anime movies, or whatever content on Funimation, they no longer have access to. It is gone. I've always been an avid supporter of buying physical copies of TV shows and movies because one, the streaming service industry is terrible. Nothing's exclusive anymore. It's swapping over to different services and you have to basically buy all these different services to watch a movie or a show that'll be on there for like a few months and then swap over to a different one. You're basically paying the same amount of price, if not more than cable. And so having physical copies, one, you will not be able to lose them unless you lose them. But like the services can't just delete it. They can't just delete that show or movie from your catalog. You will have it. Even look right here. I have all of these copies right here that I'm still trying to get more because it's expensive. And even IGN, who is an absolutely garbage company, by the way, with some of the worst opinions in existence. Existence. Even they agree that this merger is terrible. They even say that the merger is costing fans their digital collections and they need to go back to physical media. If even IGN agrees with me, we have an issue here. That means you're not doing something right because IGN is never on the right side of anything being honest. But this is a absolute travesty. This is why more anime companies should rise up. That's why High Dive has been rising up lately. They're a separate company, a streaming service for anime. They have some amazing anime on there, mind you, like Farming Skill in Another World, Oshinoko, The Dangers in My Heart, The Eminence in Shadow. They have a lot of great anime over there. Because of this, they're slowly starting to rise up. Obviously, their UI is not as good considering how fresh they are, but Sony should never have bought Funimation. Funimation should never have been bought by Sony, if I, in my opinion. I think it was great when when Funimation and Crunchyroll like teamed up with Verve to have a somewhat central place for some anime on both sides, as well as an additional tons of content. And VRV, Verve, however you want to say it, was an amazing thing at the time. But now it's like, what, nothing? No one even uses it anymore, which I think is such a shame because this UI was amazing. It was such a great app. This is such a bad thing for the anime industry, especially for us Westerners who watch anime. And also this is bringing a rise to bootleg watching of anime, and not just anime, this goes for shows and movies in general, because things get too expensive, it's no longer exclusive or if it is like you have a risk of losing all of your content just like these guys at Funimation did if, with their digital copies and that's why people are bootlegging all these animes but what do you guys think about this let me know in the comments below I'm not happy about it that's for sure I I'm very upset about it I may or may not actually bootleg it which I'm totally not because I don't support the bootlegging of stuff but let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this I'm Captain Zeus and I'll catch you guys later see ya